All right, students, uh, this video is going to go over 1.4 on the math textbook, which is more rules of exponents, the properties of exponents. And we're actually going to practice them. Now, this section is actually from the online textbooks, which your teachers should be getting you access to uh, this week. Now, this is also in the student journal, so you might have had one of those for Math 1. Uh, this will be the same, and maybe if your teacher didn't use it last year, uh, you might be using it more for this class. So here's how this works. Uh, th this same section that's right here, it looks exactly the same in the student journal, and I'm going to flip over to that right now. So you can see here what I've done is I went ahead and printed out a copy of the student journal. And we're going to sort of work through this today, and like I said, when you have your own student journal, this uh, hopefully this video series will help you uh, as you progress through the, the year and the chapters of all the different topics. So let's get started with the, uh, with the work here. And I'll resize this. Okay, so if you watch the core concept videos, you've already seen this. Uh, what these are is, like I said, practice on how to work through the problems. And you're going to want to follow along. And if you don't have your uh, workbook yet, go ahead and just do it in your notebook. So essential question, how can you write general rules involving properties of exponents? Okay, so there's a couple different examples here. Now, this first one's a little bit hard to see, but it's 2 to the 3rd and 2 to the 2nd. 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 3rd. Now, you could change this to 4, because 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 to the 3rd is 2 times 2 times 2, so that's actually 8. It is not 6. This is 8. So this could be written as 32, okay? But we don't always want to put it that way. That way. A lot of times if you're doing a problem with a lot of, uh, a lot of exponents, you want to do all the operations first and only change it to a number at the very end. So let's, let's go and show you another way to do this as well. Um, we can go ahead and write this over. I have some space here for this one. So 2 to the 2nd times 2 to the 3rd. Okay. So we had a rule for... Oh, I apologize, you couldn't see that. Uh, the, video, the other video had a rule for this, and you'll know that the rule... You might know the rule already. The rule says to do something with these two exponents. What's weird about the rule is you don't change the base. Here's what you do not do. This would not become 4 to the 5th power or even 4 to the 6th power. That's... That's totally what it would not become. Now let's find out why that is. Because you're like, wait, this is multiplication, but we didn't multiply. What? What I mean is 2 to the 2nd means 2 times 2. 2 to the 3rd means 2 times 2 times 2. So really what you have is 2 times itself 5 times. So that's 2 to the 5th. Okay. And you can leave it as 2 to the 5th, uh, or you can change it to 3 to but if it's a pro if they're Explorations about, uh, sorry, exponents, we're probably going to leave it as exponents. All right. It's the same thing here. 4 to the 1 and 4 to the 5, we're going to leave it in exponent form. Even though we're multiplication, we're not multiplying the bases. Okay, what we've got is 1, 4 here, and 5 of them here. If you write that out the long way, this is 4 to the 1, so it's one of them. 4 to the 5 is write it four, 5 times. So in total, you have 6 of them, 4 to the 6. So that's what happens. You don't multiply the bases, you just add up the exponents. Seems like a weird rule, but if you write it out, I think it'll make a little more sense. Okay? So try that out for this one, try that out for this one, and again, even if it's x's, it's exactly the same rule. Okay, so try those on your own. Let's see what we get. Go ahead and pause the video right now. Okay, so you should have gotten... 5 to the 8, because you have 5 to the 3, 5 to the 5, that's 5 to the 8. Then here we have x to the 2, x to the, see if we can focus that up there, there you go, x to the 2, x to the 6. Okay, it's not going to be x to the 12, it's going to be x to the 8. Because again, there's x and x, and then this is x, 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 x. A total of 8x's. You wouldn't usually write it out this way, but that's that's what you want to do. And again, this is very, very useful for uh, scientific notation, which is incredibly useful uh, for, you know, anything on a large scale or a small scale. I uh, use scientific notation. So again, you can see that in the other video, what we have is 4.2 times 10 to the 8th. This will be written in scientific notation, and a lot of times, if you um, multiply that by 1.3 times 10 to the 5th, you want to be able to work with those exponents and get a rough approximation. Uh, and you don't want the calculator just changing this into some ginormous um, decimal answer. 
All right, so let's move on to part B and see how we do. All right, so part B is division, okay? You notice they didn't focus too much on the names of them. The names are in the book, but really we want to focus on how do you do them, okay? So for this one, the answer is going to be that you subtract them. But let's see again how you got there. So again, if you didn't watch the video, uh, the other core concept video, you might want to watch that first. Uh, but I'll put it right down here. 4 to the 3rd is really 4 times 4 times 4. 4 to the 2 is 4 times 4, and that's it. And what happens is every time we have 4 over 4, 4 divided by 4 is just 1. So those cancel out. 4 divided by 4, those cancel out. And all you have left is 1, 4. So that's 4 to the 1. All right. So 2 to the 5 and 2 to the 2. Well, again, the rule says subtraction, but again, why? 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. They're all multiplied. That's why this works, is all multiplication. And 2, 2 on the bottom, 2, 2, 2, 2. Those cancel, and you're left with 2 to the 3. All right. Same rule works with the x's. I'm not going to write them all out. It's subtraction. x to the 6 minus 3, or just x to the 3. Now, when we get to the next one, you get something weird. Okay? You get 3 to the 4 over 3 to the 4. The rule says subtraction, okay? But if you don't remember the what, well, let's see what's going to happen here. Subtraction rule would be 4 minus 4, which would be 3 to the 0. Now, again, this is not 1. Sorry, this is not 0. This is actually equal to, this is equal to 1. Okay, let's, again, let's see that another way. 3 to the 4 would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 to the 4 would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now, they do cancel each other out, but what's canceling is they're dividing each other. 3 divided by 3 is really 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So it's really 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. All right. So pause it, watch it again if that's not totally clear, because what's happening here is you want to get comfortable with it and not have to write out all the threes every single time. You want to get comfortable with just subtraction. Okay, and the more you practice these exponent rules, uh, the easier they will become. All right, let's move on to section C. All right, section C says, what happens when you find the power of a power? And that gets confusing, so what do you do? Well, do you do 2 to the, four, two to the 2, which is actually 4, raise that to the 4, and do that on your calculator? Um, you could. It's like 256, I believe. Um, we're not going to do that. A lot of times, like I said, we want to. if it's an exponent practice, we want to practice with the exponents. Don't, don't just chug this in the calculator. So well, what is this and why is it? Well, the rule says multiply them. Okay, and again, in the course concept video, we went over that. But let's go over it one more time. The rule says 2 times 4 is 8. Again, the base does not change. That's the key thing about a lot of these. Okay. What this really means, though, 2 to the 2 to the 4 means anything to the uh, to the 4th power means write it 4 times. So what we really have is 2 to the 2, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 2. Okay. So because of this 4th power, it means take whatever is inside. That could be 2 to the 2. It could be... 2x squared plus 5. Whatever it is, if it says 4 power, you write it 4 times. Now, what's each one of these? Well, each one says 2. So it's 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. How many 2's do you have? You have a total of 8 2's, so it's 2 to the 8. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so write them out if it, if it, if it, if it helps, but again, we want to we want to start after a while, start knowing the knowing the rules and sort of getting them. So go ahead and pause the video right here. Go ahead and take a second, see what you think the other three are, and then I'll fill them in. Pause the video right now, and then I'll fill them in when we come back. All right. If you didn't correctly, you should have seven to the sixth power, y to the ninth power, and x to the eighth power. All right. We're almost through with this uh, part of the student journal. We're going to switch to the next page. Got a couple more rules, and this is where it gets a little bit trickier. Okay, so got to get get used to this a little bit. Uh, what it is is it's like you might think you know the rules, and then they throw something different at you. You say, wait a minute, I thought we were doing exponents, but now you've got two numbers on the different side. That's different. Now, the rule here is that the exponent essentially 
distributes. And you get 2 to the 2 times 5 to the 2. Okay. If you looked at this and said, well, isn't 2 to the 2 times 5 10? And isn't that just 10 to the 2? And 10 to the 2 is 10 times 10, so can I write this just as 100? Wouldn't that be easier? Well, yes, sometimes you're going to want to do that, and sometimes you're going to want to do this. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to be comfortable with both. You want to be able to do all, both of those. Okay, because here's what happens. If you try that method for the next one, 5 times 4 is 20, and 20 to the third power is not 60. 20 to the third power is 20 times 20 times 20, which gets very large very quickly. Okay, so let, let's go back and see why does this work. We know the rule is multiply, but we'll, let's see why. Well, it's not really multiply. You distribute the exponent to the, uh, that's what I meant. But let's see why. 5 times 4 to the third. The third power means, right, this has 5 times 4, 5 times 4, 5 times 4. Now, the nice thing is, we know the commutative property. 5 times 4 times 5 times 4 times 5 times 4. We can rearrange as 5 times 5 times 5 times 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 times 4. 5 times 5 times 5, so 4 times So what we do is we rearrange all these. It's the same thing. We wrote the 5 three times. We just multiply it three times. And then 4, 4, 4 is multiplied three times. So it's 5 to the third and 4 to the third. That's your answer. I started writing the wrong thing there. There we go, 4 to the third. All right, let's go and pause the video right here and see what you think that next two are. And if you put 6a to the 4, right, 6, 6 to 2a to the 2, I didn't say this. I said that wrong. 6 to 2a to the 2, and then we have 3 to the 2x to the 2. Now, 3 to 2, could you write it as 9? Sure. Um, either way, usually your teacher is going to take it either way. But again, for these first ones, practice with the exponents, uh, because 5 to the 3rd, 4 to the 3rd, some, some big answer, and we don't, we don't really need it that written that way. All right, let's move on down to the last two sections here. Okay. Now, this looks like fractions, but it's not too bad. What you don't want to do is on the calculator. Calculator will take two-thirds and change it to 0.66666666666 repeating, and then square that crazy number, and you're going to get some decimal. That's not usually what we want. Okay. A lot of times in algebra, we want to keep it as a fraction and let the scientists, let the engineers change it into actual decimals. A lot of times we want to... We want, to, we want to manipulate the numbers with in their natural form, is what, what we'd say. So, what is this? Two to the third, sorry, two thirds to the second is two thirds times two thirds. That's all it means. Second power means write it twice. Well, what's that? Two times two is two squared. Three times three is three squared. So, that's your answer. I put it up in the box there. So, essentially, same thing. The exponent sort of just distributes, distributes. So you get 4 to the 3rd and 3 to the 3rd. You can write it all out if you want, uh, but that's what it is. And again, if you tried this on the calculator, it's just going to change it to decimal, and that's not really what we want. That's not what we're after here. Okay. Now, the next ones have variables, but that shouldn't be a problem. Go ahead and pause it. And fill it in. All right, and that's what you should have got for your answers for those ones. All righty. Now, how can you write general rules involving properties of exponents? Well, there's a number of ways, and that's what you're... There's not enough room here. We're going to leave that for your teacher and your notes and how they're going to do your notebook. It's, of course, also in the textbook. It's under the four key concepts. Uh, there's set little sections in Chapter 1.4 that has each of the rules. Okay. But in general, we'd write them like this. A to the, I like to use it with actual numbers or with variables. Um, a to the third, A to the fifth, A to the eighth. That's one of the rules, okay? And there's a number of the rules. So there's the multiplication rule, the fraction rule. So you'd want to basically, how can you write all the rules? You'd want to sort of set up your general, have your own of rules in your notes. So your teacher will go over that, or you can practice it in apps like Quizlet. And uh, it's really good, like I said, to know the rules, because it comes up a lot. Now, final question that this comes up is, 
in volume. This is a really, really, really important.